actor, producer, philanthropist, and can even add singer to his resume. And I'm currently uh, doing some music, so venturing into that passion as well. Vinicius Machado does it all. Machado is named the fastest rising Latino talent on television today. He co-starred in the hit television show Power on Stars and his role as Nomar. Machado moved to California in his early 20s to pursue his Hollywood career and landed a job quickly. But his move to Hollywood was not easy for him at first. I went to Hollywood from uh, Florida with nothing but a dream. I had zero dollars in my pocket, you know. I remember driving through I-10, just, you know, swiping my credit cards, but not having any funds in my bank. And then today being the hope of a better future for my family, for my kids. So for me, it's like the validation of everything that I struggled. You know, I remember being on as the classified school survival guide, but still living out of my car at that time, you know. So for me, it's like a validation that everything that I went through and that I sacrificed for um, has paid off. Machado tips he gives for upcoming actors and what he learned from 50 Cent. First and foremost, you gotta stay ready. You know, it's better to be ready for an opportunity and not have the opportunity than you have the opportunity and not be ready for it. And then uh, second of all, be flexible because life happens, you can't predict it. Uh, you must be willing to adapt. I learned this from 50 Cent, uh, just having fearlessness, you know, there's nothing to fear but fear itself. If you want it, go get it. Considering his character as Nomar is deeply involved with the Hispanic gang, he embraces the stereotypes when auditioning for other acting roles. Being a Latino, you know, um, and uh, especially understanding the way that um, stereotypes work in the industry from a Latino perspective, um, you know, I played the gangster. You know, that's what I've been able to capitalize on. And what I seek to do is to be able to diversify that in um, different characters that I play. And with that, redefining that stereotype, if you will. And that's what I've been able to do, embracing that, you know, not shying away from it. Because I'm going to change that game and educate the industry on the perception that the culture puts upon the minority community, the Latino community. And I'm going to use that as my strength to get in, and I'm going to change it. And I had to find out how long it took for him to grow out his beard for his role as Nomar. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's ever asked me that. Wow, that's it. Yeah. Um, it took me about two months. Yeah, and I was doing like biotin pills. I was putting like my Noxidil in my beard, <laughs> trying to grow oh, fast. Yeah. He created the beard for him to stand out. You know, I was thinking about how can I you know, make this character unique and stand out from all the other gangsters that I had played already. And I remember seeing, you know, in the script that, you know, he represented this whole Ella Nation and they, you know, their symbol was a pitchfork. And I kept thinking about, you know, okay, we're gonna put tattoos. I know that's a given, you know, what can I do? What can I do? And I was like, oh wow, let me grow the beer out, have a pitchfork. Boom. Machado is from Brazil, but once he moved to America, he was bullied. Well, I didn't speak the language. Primarily, that was primarily the issue. Um, and, you know, I was a very popular kid in Brazil. You know, I played soccer. Um, I had a lot of friends. Um, and then coming here, I didn't have nobody. And then being made fun of, it was like a culture shock, but it was also like a personal shock, you know. That just led me through a path of just like eating, you know. That was one of my escape codes, and I uh, ate myself to <laughs> obes obesity, and um, that led to more bullying. I just kind of turned to the wrong crowd. You know, I hung out with the cool cats, you know, because uh, um, I thought that was a way to uh, overcome the hurdle of not being popular, not being liked. In the year 2000, I was in a near death car crash um, that drastically changed my life. Um, and all my cool cats were gone. I've been able to turn that negative um, um, experience into a positive today. Machado is the national spokesperson for the Stop Bullying Now Foundation. He tells me his ways and how he will inspire children who have been bullied. If we can teach them right from the get-go, you know, what life is about, a way to perceive people, and if we treat others the way we want to be treated, if we can instill all of that in their hearts right from the root, then we can affect change in the world. He is currently busy working on new projects and even producing a film that will be shot in Chicago. I've got uh, two other projects coming up, a short film and then a feature film. And then uh, I'm being packaged into an international uh, series, a Brazilian uh, series. And we're uh, working on a horror film to bring here and to be shot here in Chicago. And then I'm currently uh, doing some music. So venturing into that passion as well. Like Pitbull with the Brazilian twist. <laughs>
Machado wants his legacy to be remembered as... As a philanthropist, you know, um, not as an entertainer. I believe that Hollywood is in seat of influence nowadays, but using that platform to know that I came to serve and that I was here and I utilized every position and opportunity that I have to be able to do that. So a philanthropist. For more information on Stop Bullying Now Foundation, visit StopBullyingNowFoundation.org. Tony Porter for Hip Hop Weekly.